Hello YouTube, this is Limb from Limb, a game where you gamble with your fingers in an insane asylum type place against another patient. I hear it's similar to Buckshot Roulette, but who knows? Without further ado though, let's dive straight in. Welcome patient, all of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our Limb Regrowth Program. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry, you're not alone. We're heroes. Another patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing, but luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility, with the human statuette representing you. Your goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful, some tiles, represented by various colors, will initiate certain events, and you might not find all of them to be pleasant. Green is good, red is scary, got it. ...has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions and left click to move them on and off the provided medical tray to equip them. Be sure to use your items strategically as once they are used, they are gone forever. In the case that you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. Just you know, one of the that's one of the few things that um, has been vetoed in this house. I kind of wanted a phonograph for records i kind of wanted an old phonograph for records but my wife definitely vetoed that and at the time i was like oh that's really bad and now every time i see them i'm like that would look bloody ridiculous in our house <laughs> so we've got a game board we've got a phonograph and we've got the cabinet let's have a quick look at the cabinet a second your item collection what have i already got Infrared camera, a camera with the ability to detect heat signatures. Use this to reveal all cards, card, all card currently in your hand. Is this a deck builder? Patient fingers collected zero. Nice. Let's go back, shall we? Um, so just hitting on what Camus just said. Recently, 100%ed dredge and it was good. It made you wary of the environment, wondering what lies in the darkness and such. I really liked dredge. Obviously, we played it fully on the on the thingy on the channel. I was there. Oh, it's a. Oh, okay. Wait, that's good, right? That means item. Choose one item to add to your collection. We've got the Eye of Foresight. A gouged eye obstructed by a thick layer of cataract reveals a selected card's value. And a pickled snake, a garden snake, whose aroma is that of flowers and vinegar, reveals all cards in the enemy's hand. That. That seems like it's a better it's a better thing. Got an achievement as well. Piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, we played... Um, dredge all the way through and i i really like the oppressive atmosphere in dredge it got a little it got a little samey towards the end and it felt very much like i could just outrun the enemies but there were still moments where i was in deep water and i'm like am i am i in trouble like but the the start of it i felt very very uneasy it was what i would consider to be a classic wholesome horror experience it was horror but not horror if that makes sense not obnoxious horror another item so we've got a severed hand severed hand it's still warm delightful discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards or reshuffle or reshuffle all playing cards and wishbone bone from an avian creature that is said to bring good luck when broken forces the enemy to take another turn forces the enemy to take another well all right then Right, there's some blue there, and I thought it said, did it say blue was good? Another item. We are we are rinsing this for items, aren't we? Now it wants me to go straight to it, doesn't it? We've got a pocket knife. Oh, what? What is that about? Is that an MRI machine? Can I pull the thing? No. Uh, wait, a pocket knife, a well-aged pocket knife. Its blade more blunt than sharp. Reveal an enemy card, and holy cross! 
It's Screws Fix. It stops a hunt. Uh, when used, a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any. Um, I'll take the Screws Fix just, just because Phasmo. It's the only. It's the only reason I'm taking it. It wants me to go this way, and I'm gonna. Oh, another item. <laughs> We'll have collected everything by the time we finish. Uh, another crucifix and another pocket. I take, let's take the pocket knife this time because we took a crucifix a minute ago. So, right, there was a blue splodge. There was a blue splodge. I want to know what this is. We're a winner. We're a winner. Oh, it's the shop. Got it. Oh, okay. Exchange patient fingers for items. I don't have any patient fingers. I'm fingerless. Zero fingers. No fingers. There'll be no fingers here. Uh, so which way? It gives me no indication as to where I need to go. So I am going to go to the center. Oh no, an encounter. This definitely feels like it should come with some sort of warning for photo sensitivity. A standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All revealed cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to I should pay attention. once you've used all <clears throat> the cards in your hand. Of course, a new deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences. Okay. If you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. If three jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws with their joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. I see. If you yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards, when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Great. Should you win the game, you will be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you will permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. This procedure is still a work in progress after all. Regrettably, <laughs> if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project, and you will be retired. You will be retired. You collect from your opponents can be kept in trade for items in the item shop. Yeah, the got that. Of which is noted in blue on the game board. Yep. You can see your collection of fingers in a jar located in the game board room. Really want to see those fingers. Really want to see those fingers. <laughs> Please feel free to replay it from the phonograph located in the game board room. Okay. Oh, you're a looker, aren't you? Oh, I'm going to call you Steven. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, we're playing. Oh, okay. Ooh, ah. Is that what I look like? It's so weird that this is this is how I have my hand because I'm playing PC. This. Uh, death card. So there's one death card. I'm gonna draw this card. Yes, safe card. Now you pick a card, or do I pick? A no, you pick a card. Death, death card. Oh, you just you just went straight in there, didn't you? You just. I'm not buying mine off, am I? <laughs> Death card, zero. I have a safe card. You have a safe card. I'm going to guess, yeah. Forces the enemy to take another turn. When you use a single death card, will be removed from your current hand, if any. Got it. So I have a safe card. And you pick another safe card. And I have a safe card. <laughs> that needle in your sa- oh man wait I didn't see what you picked sorry uh, and I have a save card hurrah 
Oh, no, I didn't look at how many. <gasps> There's three in here. Uh, what have you got? Oh, you've lost another finger. Sucks to be you, Stephen. Why have you got so many teeth? You've got too many teeth. Yes. Safeguard. Now what have you got? Damn it. I'm going to use a wishbone. No. I'm going to do this. Remove. I have the power. Ah, remove a death card. I have no death card. All your, all your cards are death card, mate. Sorry. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I have a safeguard. <laughs> oh, no. There's two. Oh, no. It did remove one. <gasps> yep. Yep. All right. I know. I it's, it's, it will stop biting him then. I'm sure there's a blade object around here somewhere. Uh, also, I am going to make you... I thought I stabbed myself with that then. I'm going to make you take another card. Damn it! Oh, wait, I have more. Uh, reveal all cards in the enemy's hand. Use this to reveal all cards currently in your hand. Ooh, there's one death card left. I'm going to pick... Hey, Expensor, how are you doing? E.T., the, de the desperate years. Yeah, E.T.'s really let himself go, wasn't he? <laughs> this one. Oh, Joker. I think that was good. What you got? Death Guard! You have a terrible card, Shuffler. You are not looking great. Oh my god, there's four. Oh wait, that, mean that means this one is not a Death Guard. That means it's a safe card. Which means you have four, you have four death cards. <laughs> and I win. Oh dear. Oh, he's, Steven's fallen over. Nurse, nurse, Steven's fallen over again. <laughs> right, so we won that. That was good. <laughs> now where am I going? Let's go. It's got to be one of the corners, right? I Maybe I'll go here. Oh, balls. <laughs> I assume it's one of the corners. Steven too. Yeah. Uh, oh no, you're. Oh no, the fingers regrow, don't they? So you oh, reveal all cards in my hand. Shut the bug. I can't see. I can't see. Not those two then. <laughs> Wait, do you see? Oh no, you don't see what I see. Got it. Was it so I can see I've, there's three in play at the moment, but you have two. So I can't remove. I'm going to have to play these cards at some point, aren't I? Unless I just magically get an item that allows me to swap cards. Because all I can do now is see your cards. Reveals all cards in the enemy's hand, yeah. You going to pick a death card? No. Okay, cool. I'll pick a death card. See, I told you there was a bladed object around here, Steve. Oh! I mean, that it was clean, at least. And weirdly cauterized, I think. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, have I just whittled my own thumb? Because, like, I don't think that normally happens when you cut a finger off. I mean, I'm not, I've never cut a finger off, but I don't think I'd shave the skin and muscle off of it or break the bone down here and then just pop it off like a Lego piece. Thumb seems like a terrible job. I would 100% go little finger first. Pinky finger first. It's my most useless finger. It really is. Uh, pinky finger, then probably middle finger. I don't flip people off that often. Um, I definitely keep ring finger... Uh, thumb and index for last. Thumb and index are like the golden, like they're the gaming fingers. Do you know what I mean? Like I would definitely the pin, the pinch ones. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't want to have to use this, but I'm gonna have to because there's no other. How did you not hit the other finger? Hey, it's Greedy Green. How you doing, man? Good to see you. How did you not smash that finger to oblivion when you cut that one off? So what have you done to the skin there? I'm picking too much of this. I'm sorry. I want to see all the cards in your hand. I'm going to eat my pickled snake. 
<laughs> Achievement, my reptilian friend. I thought it was pickled. Why is it alive? Eat it. Oh. Uh, so you so we have two death cards each. Great. Fantastic. Well, let's, you pick these two. Pick these two? No, no, not that one. This two. This two. These two. Listen to me, Steven. Steven. I know you've have been a hard time. You've lost two fingers, but so have I. Pick the cards I'm looking at, okay? <laughs> these two. One of these two. One of these two. One of these two. Good lad. Good lad. He's a good lad, is our Stephen. Well, this one. Yes! This one? You pick this one. Pick this one now? No, St Stephen! If you have no little finger, you'll drop your phone a lot. Testing. I mean... I'd drop it more. I'd I'd adapt though. I think, although I'd I'd want a smaller phone if I had <laughs> no little finger. <laughs> I definitely want a smaller phone. Oh piss! Three fingers down. Horror scream. Dot MP3. Wait, hang on. How come I had to take two turns in a row then? Oh, I didn't. You you picked your other save card. It all comes down to this. The final moments of the finger gamble 2020 20 whatever year we're in. And this card is for all the... Oh, there's still only three dead cards. This card is for all the fingers. And it's a joker card. He's safe. And it's a safe card. He's fucked. You, you stop looking at me like that, all right? <laughs> this one. Yes. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Yes. Eat your own fingers and fuck off. Sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say, but there you go. Right. I've healed my fingers, though, right? How many? Wait, can I go back? I can go back. I can't go back. Wait, what? I can't go back? So I can't revisit the shop? That's rubbish. I'm not going to try and go up just in case it puts me to another encounter. An atom. The little loading screen. Choose one item. Uh, a stapler. Use reattach severed fingers. Forces your opponent to redraw their current hand. Reattach severed fingers. <laughs> it's an extra life. <laughs> Definitely taking an extra life. You better believe I'm taking an extra life. Uh, game board. Let's try this corner. Oh. Damn it. I feel like I'm blinking a lot looking at this. Hello. Oh, you look sad. Is that because you've chewed off two of your own hands? There's four cards, four death cards. Let's just pick this one. Yes, Joker. <laughs> what are you going to pick, eh? What are you going to pick? Fucker. Yeah, another Joker. What happens with Jokers? Some Can someone remind me? Oh, my God, there's an electric chair there. Oh, you picked a... Okay. <laughs> that means I'm winning. Can you stop leaning into me like that? That's really disconcerting. Also, your tongue is out. You are going to dribble on these cards. These need protectors. Who's got card protectors? Oh, balls. Well, now there's only three. And I know I don't have all of them, so. Oh, and you also picked a bad card. Okay, cool. Right. Now, quick question. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forget how bloody loud that is. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, Tybor Gamer HD2. I'm, I'm going to call you Tybor if that's all right. Uh, I think I want to know why there's lines around these and not where it's actually jumping them off. I'm not sure. I've played this game before. I've never played this game before. Never in my life have I played this game before. 
Has it always had those syringes or whatever sticking out of it? I saw one last round. Yeah, I, it's definitely had at least one. Like one and then one in the shoulder. I'm not sure about the one in the tummy. Uh, and maybe... Is that a, like a bolt or another one? I'm not sure. It, Steven's had a rough time. He's definitely... He's definitely been through some stuff. I'm going to pick this card. Yes! Pick a card. Pick a card. Any card. Damn it! That means I've got one. Oh, no, it doesn't! Ah! Fuck you! Oh, wait. I picked a thingy, didn't I? That's a good... That's a good crying sound effect for a monster. I won't lie. That's a... I've, I've heard some shit ones, but that's a pretty good... So there's only two death cards. I cannot remember what happens to the Jokers, but... Genuinely cannot remember. I think it's good or bad. I'm not sure which. Right. That was extra teeth. Are those extra teeth from a horse? Oh, they, they are. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, move your tongue once for yes and twice for no. Uh, are those staples in your head? No, maybe not. Okay. Three jokers. I don't remember what that means. Uh, death card present or all removed. If none, lose a finger. Select either hand. Oh, that I have no death cards? <sighs> that was my pointing finger, Stephen. I'm very upset at you right now. Just, oh, and I get a reshuffled hand. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I know you've got two death cards. <laughs> Which means, I think... How many fingers have you got left? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I, I'm a winner. I mean, I don't feel like it now. I have to chop off another finger, but I'm a winner. I win this round, Steven. Stop leaning into me like that. <laughs> Blah. Yes, I've broken another one. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. It could be a little quicker. Like the 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 uh, thingies, the rounds. Let's hope there's not another event here. <gasps> I don't know what this is. Oh, it's an item. I thought it was the exit. Choose one item. What have we got? We've got, oh, the pickle snake. That was pretty cool. Was this? Uh, the infra camera. That was really useful. And we've had the pickle snake before, so... Well, technically, we've had the infrared camera before as well, but I think out of both of them, uh, I would go for the one that feels the most useful. Right. Now, if I go back on this item, it's not going to do anything, is it? No. It's got to be in one of the corners. Oh, green? What was green? <gasps> green is the exit! Green is the exit! <laughs> Hooray! Experiment successful. Find the winning tile and beat the game. I'm, oh. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I was Steven all along. Okay, so. What options we got? Uh, hard mode. Go back. Let's play hard mode. Welcome, patient. All of us here. So we're going to try this on hard mode now. I don't really know what the difference is. I assume it's harder, but who knows. Uh, is this the same board? Oh, no. Curses. Oh, wait, am I going to start with like two fingers missing or something? Yeah, got that. Thanks. I don't know why I like the loading screen so much. Uh, you... Yeah, this all seems fine. Let's pick this. One death card. Oh, I don't start with any items. I see. Safe. Still safe. <laughs> Still safe. Oh, it all comes down to this. No! God damn it! Watch the cards, mate. 
There's oh, oh my, there's five of them. Oh no. Watch them all be in my hand. <laughs> this is not going well for me. How are you still safe? My god, I was like, this experiment is rigged. Yeah, it's hard mode though, so. Okay. Oh. Go on, you pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Sucks to be you! <laughs> Come on, staple face. I thought you had something stapled to your head. I honestly, because of the different color, color of skin, I thought you had something stapled to your face. You don't. That's your face. My condolences. Oh, well, I paid for that, didn't I? Absolutely paid for that. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's all, it's all a game of chance at this point. I can't influence it in any way. I don't think I can. I can I, like, punch you? No? Can I run away? No. Uh, there's no well, I know there's no death cards. <gasps> a joker. What you got? Nothing. I mean, we've got two. Now we've got four. So we've got two each. So I know we've got two each. Whew. So this hand is going to kill one of us. And it ain't looking great for you, Stephen. <laughs> All right. You've got a little something. you got a little something just there. You look like Voldemort who fell down the stairs. <laughs> uh, right, let's go with this one. Now what are you going to pick? Huh? Huh? The good one. Yeah. Don't like that, do you? Oh, thank God. All right. This, this is only the first round. Blech. I die. Bleh. All right, back here. Uh, oh, so I have fingers now, at least. So that's good. But I can visit the shop and buy stuff. I'm not sure how many. I think I have like five. I assume I have five. How many fingers do I have? I have five. Yeah. So oh, okay. So I got their fingers. Got it. The Eye of Foresight, a gouged eye... Oh, that's the catwalk. Reveal a selected card's value. Jack in the box forces the opponent to redraw their current hand, and the pickle snake reveal all cards in enemy's hand. I, I like the idea of that. And... Uh, screw it. Back. I like this. It's it's simple. It's snappy. It's got good atmosphere. I doubt the the exit's not going to be in the same place, is it? Let's be honest. God damn it! <laughs> There's no way the exit's going to be in the same place. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. I've got toys now. You're in trouble. Uh, so there's two here. This uh, forces your opponent to redraw their current hand. Reveal all cards in enemy's hand. It doesn't feel like. It's worth me doing any of those right now. I can see the similarities to Bookshot Roulette. I dare. Oh, it so sucks to be you. Um, I quite like these sort of game of chance ones. I was worried because the items were talking about uh, decks and cards that this was going to be a weird horror deck builder, which I don't. I don't know how much I like the idea of some people have said that if i enjoyed this uh i'll enjoy inscription or if i enjoyed something else i'll enjoy inscription i don't know i had a quick look at inscription i'm not i'm not 100 percent sold on screenshots so i don't know we'll have to see you get another you got both of them that's so unlucky <laughs> maybe i'll be wrong maybe it'll be really good i need to see my cards really quickly i need to see the thing no I couldn't see the screen, so I don't know how many I've got. God damn it. Let's just go with this one. Wabam! Again, that's more like if you hit it with a blunt force so hard that the bone breaks and it pops out like a champagne cork. That I don't think that's how... I mean, like I said, a very limited knowledge of how thumbs getting chopped off work. But I don't think that's how it works. 
Hey, it's Folklorizing899. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Welcome to F Finger Roulette. <laughs> With Stephen, our friendly neighborhood patient. This is a game where we wager fingers. There's only one card left, and I have a feeling I've got it. No. Do you have it? No. You do have it! Ah! <laughs> now there's three, which means I've got two. Okay, cool. The term deck builder makes my eyes glaze over. I'd still recommend it. Oh, really, x -Men, sir? Oh, okay. So, wait, hang on. So you have no death cards? Well, we'll soon sort that out. Surprise, surprise, mother flipper. <laughs> now you've got three. <laughs> yeah, if you'd still recommend an inscription, um, then I I will put it back on the list. Uh, to be fair, I don't think I've been... I think I've been too lazy to take it off the list, so I'll stick it back on the spreadsheet. That one? Yeah, it's tense now, isn't it? All of yours are death cards, though, mate. That sucks to be your hand right now. I'm nim 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 nim. Bye bye. Right, it's definitely not going to be the same spot. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'll just wander around for it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Now I'm the Steven. So let's have a quick look at how where how does uh Steam overlay work? I can't remember. Is it shift and tab? It is shift and tab. I'll just close that a second. My achievements. What achievements have we got? Retired, failed to complete the experiment, and five. Like, fucking show, show me what these achievements are. What's this? Use the stapler, helping hand, use the severed hand, use the matchbox, using the joke card ability to successfully remove a death card from your hand, using the eye of foresight, and use the pocket knife. So use more items. Okay, we can do that. We'll go, we'll go for some more achievements. Pew. Yeah, we got that. The Witcher Throne Breaker aside, I've never been a fan of deck builder games. Playing them anyway, I'd watch someone else play them, but I find them a little boring to play. I do find them boring to play. And that's maybe because is what's the what's the big one? Is it Hearthstone? Is Hearthstone a deck builder? I can't remember. Right, I just need items. Give me items. Hearthstone feels like it was there. I used to play Hearthstone. Not like loads, but like enough. And I used to play a different one. Oh, Magic the Gathering. I used to play Magic the Gathering. Like IRL. Yep, got that. Thank you. This is a weird setup. Oh, no. We're, we're back where we need to be. Cool. There's three cards. Well, we need to die at some point. Um, yeah, I used to play Magic the Gathering IRL. And I don't, I don't think I was ever... I was never fully committed... No, don't get me wrong. Pokemon, the card game. The trading card game. I was 100% into that. One hour, a lad. Hey, back one hour, a lad. Pick a card. <laughs> Steve, you got to get better at this, man. you got to get better at this. You still have your Pokemon cards? My God, you need to source... You need to either get them graded and protected now. They're, those things belong in a museum, as they say. No, we have no more death cards in here. I got a Joker, though. Aha. I smell an achievement. I get, I have one. You have four. Oh, Steven, I'm so sorry. Yeah, either get them graded and protected or sold. <laughs> or both, <laughs> either. Have you looked in the finger cabinet? I don't suppose it's interesting, but I'm curious. It actually shows them or just the number. The finger cabinet? Do you mean like the cabinet in the in the menu? I'll have a look. 
Oh, like in the jar. Oh, maybe you just show them in the jar. I'm not sure. That would be pretty cool. Just, just like 10 of Steven's fingers. Pokemon was amazing, though. I spent hours of my life playing it IR. Yeah, me too. Me too. I used to love it. I used to trade Pokemon trading cards in the schoolyard. There you go. I don't think I have any more. I oh, know I do. That's that's my only death card. The two things, whenever I had any spare money, which I'll be honest, what pre pre being about fourteen was negligible. I uh, used to go on either. Uh, game magazines or Pokemon trading cards. Uh, I have five fingers. Can I click it? No, it just shows you the jar. You just got the non nondescript white ceramic jar. I mean, that's where I keep all my spare fingers. Post fourteen, it was on alcohol. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, oh man, I'm well. It's an opportunity to get more fingers, I suppose. Alright. We've got five in play here. This is exciting, isn't it? I'm not even gonna look. Oh balls! <laughs> I can't look. He says, obviously looking. As if you picked a safe one. Have I got all of them? No, okay, you've got at least one of them. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lose my entire hand. Joker. Don't even know her. <laughs> Classic. Oh, you picked a safe one, didn't you? Yes, me too. Please tell me you've got two death cards. Yeah. You don't even flinch when you do that. You've done this a lot, haven't you? Yes. And, oh, we have another hand to go. Oh, wait. I have no death cards. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero death cards, and you have three. <laughs> uh, sucks to be you, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, look, you got a death card. Oh, shame. <laughs> Miss a finger. You're dribbling on the cards, Stephen. I, <laughs> I got I to gotta tell you again, you're dribbling on the cards. <gasps> if, if you get a save card now... Which you don't, so never mind. I was like, I could get potentially three jokers and remove the death card a death card from your hand, still win and get the achievement for getting the death card, getting joker cards. That'd be cool. It's not gonna happen though. Oh. I don't I'm wait, oh I'm playing it on hard mode, aren't I? That's what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> Screw me, I guess. This is an interesting place. I don't think we've been here before. I don't know, paying too much attention at this point. There's lockers there. Is there anything in the lockers? You are very interested in these cards all of a sudden. Like, you are only looking at these cards. Why is your neck that long? Are you wearing one of those necklaces? Oh, a joker. Oh, a death card. See, this is what happens when I look. If I look, I get death card. Ugh. I'm very surprised the joke card doesn't look like you. I can't be honest. Okay, I'm calling you a joke. Get it? Get it? No, never mind. You've got a death card. Oh, wait. I have one death card. One death card. You have two death cards? Two death cards? Damn it! I haven't played a game on hard mode for a while. Team Easy. I don't I normalize. You definitely normalize playing on easy mode. If you want to enjoy a game just for the story, just play on easy mode. I'll be honest, I want to see what the difference was in hard mode. It doesn't seem like it's that different. Other than there's I don't think there's any items to pick up. Right, you have a death card. That's a safe card. Ah, that's a safe card as well. 
You have a one in three chance of picking up a death card. Of course you did. Of course you did. You just make it harder for me, why don't you? Oh wait, this means there's no more death cards, and yet if I get a joker, I will lose a finger. Oh no. Select either's hand. Death cards present all are removed. If none, lose a finger. Okay, well, sucks to be you, buddy. I'm not losing a finger over this. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about the long game right now, Stephen. It's going to so freak someone out if they come in chat. They're just like, my name's Stephen. This is really perplexing. Uh, let me just go back here. Okay, so good. That doesn't... I really want to get rid of all of this fog. I hate all of this fog. I knew that was going to be it. So I don't think there's any items in hard mode. Like, no pickups whatsoever. Four cards. Four candles. Not you want, not your handles for folks. Four candles. Damn it. Complete nonchalance there. Complete and total nonchalance. Oh, man, come on. Right. Uh, two, car two cars left. We've got four, two, two each. Oh, you've already picked one. Oh, good. At least I'm not going to get both of them then. Well. Fuck it. We both go out together, Stephen. I need to see the card meter thing. Show me the card meter thing. Two. There's two, basically. I don't know what's what's what. Uh, I missed the beginning of the stream, so I probably missed the answer to this question. But what is that table with all the fog? Does that represent you? Yes, so that's the game board. So that's like you moving around the asylum or this, this facility, I should say. Good, good. So I gotta go around. If I get a red token, it's an enemy. If I get, hey, creepy, let's how you doing. Uh, if I get a red token, it's an enemy encounter like this. If I get a green token, it's the exit. If I get a yellow token, it's an item. And I get a blue token, which is also represented by a little swirl of blue smoke on the on the game board. Um, then it's rep it's uh, the shop, which I can spend fingers on, which is fantastic. Uh, again, another sentence I didn't think I'd ever say. <laughs> what the tongue do though? It do be it do be a tongue. Right, so we've got two cards. We've got two death cards. I got two fingers left. You've also got two fingers left. This could be a magical moment, Stephen. This is getting quite tense, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. All right, mate. How, sorry, how am I collecting these fingers if you don't spit them out? Oh, actually, I don't want to know the answer to that. Pick a card. Oh. Oh, man. We get to go another round. <laughs> He's very... Pr I, I have three, and you also have three. Fuck! Well, ah well, rip me. Just wait a few hours for them to come out. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm going digging afterwards. What you got for me, mate? Is that my achievement unlocked? Ah, retired. You failed to complete the experiment. You could say that was a shocking conclusion. <laughs> All right, quick YouTube outro, then I'm going to go and get some more achievements. So, for the purposes of YouTube, this is the end of our time with Lim from Lim. I am going to do some more gameplay on stream, where I'm going to go and get all the achievements. We're going to mop up all the item achievements. And if you want to join the lovely people here in chat live every Tuesday and Thursday, 5 p.m. BST, you can over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming. But for now, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Alrighty. So, now, if I go on to options, because I... 
accidentally had hard mode on, and I got to play, now I actually get items. Now we're in non-YouTube land, so now I can just say what the fuck I want. <laughs> it's, not it's not a trick. Uh, right. Cool. Now we get actual items. So what are the items we actually need? We need a stapler. I thought that said I can fix him. <laughs> There's a... Oh, you can't see my achievement thing. Oh, that's weird. So I need a stapler, a severed hand. The achievement for fight using the stapler is all can be fixed. But I honestly thought it said I can fix him. Uh, stapler, a severed hand matchbox. Uh, eye of foresight and a pocket knife. Okay. Oh, eye of foresight. Lovely. Ah, oh, one of those. Thank you very much. Now we just walk around... So this is to hear the tutorial again. This is to see my collection of items. And this is to play the game. And to play the game, you rat bastard. I knew, why did I think in a million years that was gonna be another item? That's just the tutorial to say, this is how the card game works. <laughs> Vocalize, no, no, no. Are you fixing it like Jim will fix it? Or like a mechanic. I'm not sure I want to be mentioning Jim or fix it in chat. <laughs> uh, we'll go... Oh, a joker card. Lovely. Uh, who's got the thing? You're very close to that electric chair. Safe. Ah. Good plan. All right, best not mention it. I hate it when people say, like, oh, it was a different time. It was people acted different. It was a different time. It's still fucking wrong, people. It's still fucking wrong. Morals don't normally change. Right, deal. I got none. Ha! You got two. Ha! <laughs> uh, pick a cat. Pick a cat. Oh. I mean, if I get the two other Jokers, I'll take your other death card off you because I'll get a shiny achievement. But, I don't know. with <laughs> same vibe as, but that was the way we've always done it. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just fight. No, exactly, Fuck Horizon. And if you do, that just tells you you're a terrible person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> two Jokers. Don't pick your death card. Is this a third Joker? No. Joker? I don't even know her. I didn't see how many death cards were on the table before you got your cards. No. No. So there are at least two. I will reveal my cards because there's a good chance. Click. I'll be able to complete the Joker one here. Ah, and you have two death cards. I'm going to do you a favor, mate. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Pick one of your death cards. Wait. Oh, it's from my hand. Isn't it the achievement? Let me just double check the achievement. Using the Joker card ability to successfully remove a death card from your own hand. Oh, man. What have you done to me? I have foresight. Reveal a selected card's value. Oh, fucking. Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Just for the achievement. I spy. Do I... Oh, I've stuck that in my own face. Got it. Lovely. I'll just use that. <laughs> They're all safe. It's fine. I wonder what that was then. It's my hand holding the axe. Am I the only one who can get Joker cards? Can you not get Joker cards? Right, you have two, and I have... One. Okay. Oh, dear. One-handed <laughs> gameplay. Don't know why that was so funny all of a sudden, Gamus. <laughs> what in the hell is happening? That's a, that's a great question. We're playing cards. We're just playing cards. Don't worry about it. Um, long story short, if we pick a death card, we lose a finger. If we pick a safe card, we don't. And if we pick a joke card and get three of them on the table at once, then we can remove a death card from either of our hands. <gasps> An atem. 
There's the there's the like this super short version of it. Choose an item. I have used both of these, so I'll just pick this. Uh, oh wait, no. I'll pick that. I'll pick the jukebox. This is like Klondike Solitaire, but different. Do they cut fingers off in Klondike Solitaire? Ooh, another item. Mirami never go the Klondike. Jeez. Choose a pocket knife. Pocket knife. Pocket knife. It's like some jukebox hero. Jukebox hero. He's a jukebox hero. It's giving you Resident Evil card game vibes. There's a Resident Evil card game? Has anyone played? That's an excellent segue. Thank you very much. Has anyone played? Oh, Stapler. I've got a Stapler. Um, has anyone played You Will Die Here Tonight? <laughs> it's like X, but different when it's nothing like X. <laughs> this this reminds me of Resident Evil, like, Div 4 or 5. I can't remember. When they have some of these wacky... This, this font specifically reminds me of that. Uh, I'm going to get ambushed, aren't I? It's a, it's a wash with items, that's what it is. Uh, I keep getting told that you will die here tonight is like Resident Evil, and I really don't think it is. I'll just take the stapler. Just replace X with anything. Don't associate it with platform formerly known as Twitter. I'm still angry my Twitter got deleted. Is that one puzzle from that one cast in Resident Evil 4? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I get to use my stapler and my pocket knife. How exciting. <laughs> Ooh, there's a there's a, a Moog behind you. Death cards, two. Lovely. Uh, reshuffle, reveal an enemy card. Reattach finger, reattach finger. Cool. Let's just pick this. Yeah, pick a card. Pick a card, any card. You started playing Code Veronica the other day. It's still really good. I could not get past Steve. Genuinely... Especially at the 50% mark where he got all handsy with Claire. I was like, fucking get in the ocean, mate. You are just a, a badly written character. A joker. Uh I don't know who has the death card. I'm hoping it's you. I'm hoping it's me, sorry. Nope. That means I'll lose a finger. Catmus isn't sure if they could bite their own fingers off. Or, well, toe beans, anyway. I wouldn't want you to bite your own toe beans off, mate. I, I gotta be honest. Cool, I have one death card. Uh, I'm gonna reattach finger and get an achievement. <laughs> Ta -da! As if by magic, it's fixed. <laughs> I don't think that's how... Uh, I was expecting staples like yours. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting staples like yours. I'm disappointed at the level... The lack of gore in my stapler. I have a very smooth complexion, though. Weirdly smooth complexion. Like I've put foundation on my arm. You wish the limb reattachment was as evil as stapling. Easy as stapling things together, right? That's the... I, I can't say I was about to say it's a spoiler for a video game. Fuck! <laughs> A st stapler and the conversation we've been having if you know you know right it it gave the game away for a, a big game a while ago right if you if you're gonna put two and two together and understand what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about but anyway pick a card steven fuck not a joker We're talking about Gex, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Sparrow the Dragon, actually. That moment where he ripped his own wings off and then stapled them back on. Have you not played the Gritty Reboot? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would honestly 100% would play a Gritty Reboot of Sparrow the Dragon. <laughs> uh, oh, it's me. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize. I'm not paying attention. I don't, I'm not invested in you anymore. I'm sorry, mate. Excellent. How many fingers have you got left, Stephen? Just one? Just the one? 
I want to be able to move my head while I'm doing this. I don't want to, I don't, I've done this enough now. Surely I don't need to see. Oh, uh, yeah, you only got one left. That's fine. Bye-bye. The gunk. <laughs> I love the idea of someone just turning on and off the light switch constantly like an angry mum. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's just go this way. An item. Oh, I want to see that Winnie the Pooh movie. There's a sequel as well. Uh, crucifix. No, got that. I will use... Wait, what does the crucifix do? When you use a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any. No, thank you. I'm fine. I'll just take an extra life. I actually kind of want to see that Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Tonight is full of sentences I never thought I'd hear myself say. Yeah, because there's a sequel as well. And, weirdly, there's a horror movie. My wife doesn't like horror, like, normally. Um, there's a horror movie she really wants to see. There's two, actually. There's Annabelle. I think it's called Annabelle. And Tarot. <gasps> the hand of something. The severed hand of Vecna. I should. It's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I want to see Tarot. I want to see uh, Annabelle as well. Annabelle looks bonkers and, like, insanely dumb. Like, the premise... Oh, Matchbox! Brilliant. The premise is some people go and kidnap a child who turns out to be a savage vampire. And I'm like, I am I am all over that. <laughs> you hated Annabelle. Tarot was all right, though. Another eight. Oh, my God. Easy mode is just throwing these at you. Uh, choose one item. I'll have the pickled snake, please. Everyone loves a pickled snake. Delicious pickled snake. Has anyone ever had a pickled egg? I've never had a pickled egg, but it's a thing in the UK, and I've never, I've never had one. <laughs> wow, humble bundle. Way to make me fear. So my phone is just here. My phone is just next to me, and it's on like, like thingy like um standby mode right so i i get notifications that are like big screen because it thinks it's like a nighttime clock and i just got an email from humble bundle and all it says is and i only get the first few words of the email title right but all it says is humble bundle time is running out mike <laughs> like fucking hell all right um right four death cards uh wait well, yeah, a bit a bit a bit i was just oh i can only i can only carry four items at a time well, fuck you. I'm just going to reveal this. Pick a card. Any card. Okay, so I know what that one is. Cool. Uh, I'm going to pick this card. Yeah, nice. They taste just like you expect. Like a vinegary egg. Okay, cool. That's, I'm not going to be too surprised then. I may... I, I might try them at one point. I say that. I know. I normally eat disgusting British stereotype foods like black pudding and uh, pork scratchings and stuff like that, so. There. There. Pick a card. Oh, I get to pick it as well. <coughs> Hide that rate. Mushy peas, fucking love mushy peas. Mushy peas are the are a winner. Absolutely, mushy peas are a winner. Uh, there's no death cards. Is there another? No, there's no joke card. Well, it's going great for both of us, isn't it? Oh wait, three. I've got three. You have two? Are you joking me? Uh, is this a free move? Or is this? Do I sacrifice a move for this? I still fondly remember one spam slash scam email that had the subject, find your death certificate here. I thought you were talking about spam the food then. I'm like, I have eaten spam. I have no, I have no qualms about it. It tastes like spam. Like, it's the only thing you can say about spam is it tastes like spam. It's not going well for me. It's not going well for me. I mean, I'm not going to choose to eat it again. But being, we never used to get. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like I'm like I'm sort of fishing for sympathy here. We weren't rich enough to have spam spam, so we would get just like canned meat, like spam equivalent. Um, and it, I, it was a while before I'd actually tried spam spam. 
say spam more. Um, but it, it just tastes like spam. Like, that's it. Like, I've had it fried. I've had it just heated up. Whatever, right? They like potted meat. Is that like the, the little pots of, like, meat paste? Is that what you're talking about? Because we, I, I used to have that as well. There's a lot of foods that, that when you mention it to people, will make sure they understand your socioeconomic position in life. <laughs> I'm not going to not to get dive too deep into this, but definitely. Mine was always or has always been uh, tomato sauce sandwiches. Whenever I would um, say that as a kid, I used to have as a snack tomato sauce sandwiches. No butter, sliced bread of tomato sauce, and then that was a snack. They're just like, they look at me. They, there's two reactions to that. One is, <laughs> yeah, and the other is, what? <laughs> Folklorizing, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. I love you for it. I do. You were gonna do it. You're now forever immortalized on this YouTube video. <laughs> uh, right, there's three left, and I'm. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for us. I'll be honest with you. How many things have you got, Stephen? Pick. A... You've only got one left. Pick a good card. Pick a good card. Pick a better card. Pick a better card. Pick a fucking battle on me. I swear to God. Joker. Thank you. Hey, exact approach. How are you doing? When you say tomato sauce, are you talking about pasta sauce dip or the condiment you put in? But the condiment, like the actual, the actual tomato, like tomato ketchup. Uh, right. Let's go to my, let's see my cabin art, shall we? Oh, that's the, that's the thing at the bottom. So I can add stuff and take it away. That, 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 and that. Lovely. Right. Anyway. <laughs> My growing up poor meal was legitimately a piece of buttered toast in between two pieces of unbuttered bread. I can see how that would work. Like I genuinely see how that. That's, that's got good. It's got different texture. Like you've got a little bit of butter on there, you've got the crunch in the middle, and it feel it would feel like a something sandwich. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm not judging people for that. Oh. I just want to buy some items. It's a toast sandwich, yeah. Took you a long time to realise that people didn't actually have those. <laughs> right, there's seven? Are you joking me? Burn all the cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable. Won't be added into the deck after the battle. What? Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones. Or reshuffle all playing cards. Reveal all the cards in your enemy's hand. There's no way. Like, I've either got two or way more than two. And forces your enemy to redraw all their cards. I'm going to burn all my cards. Because I get an achievement for it as well. Fucking burn. Wait, what? I thought that was going to burn all the cards in my hand. Oh, it did. Now there's only five. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Bread sandwich is bougie. No, no word of a lie. I, uh, I used to have like a digestive biscuit on uh, unbuttered bread because it would. Uh, these, these are these are tough times, right? An off-brand digestive biscuit on off-brand bread. Uh, all right, let's go with this one. Yeah, Joker. You're very serious all of a sudden. Mm. Is it digestive? A kind of shortbread. It's um, it's like a round, like a sweet meal biscuit. Bread is bread. There's no branding. That's not true in the UK. Bread. If you ask someone to buy bread and they don't buy Warburton's or Hovis, it's considered off-brand. So I've discovered anyway. Or like farmer's bread. And I can only describe that. The, like yeah, like my Vitti's digestives. Um <laughs> I love that you put TM at the end of it. <laughs> you put TM at the end of digestive, not at the end of my Vitti's. <laughs> uh yeah, or like weird farmer's bread. 
like you get like those half loaves. I don't understand why the smaller the loaf is, the more expensive it is. Like that's really strange to me that some shops would be like, you can buy a loaf of bread for like 80 p, right? Or you buy half a loaf of bread that's just got slightly different ingredients in it for four pound fifty. I'm like, I will, I will take the eighty pence loaf, thank you. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Uh, if I get another Joker, we're in, we're in for another achievement here, Stephen. Are you gonna play ball with me, or are you gonna be a dick about it? Uh, reveal all cards in your enemy's hand, reshuffle. And discard all cards in your hand and reshuffle new ones. Or reshuffle your playing cards. Right. How am I going to make this work? I want to know if one of these two are jokers. You have two fingers left and there's two death cards. I don't want to see what your cards are. Eat the snake. Eat the snake. Eat the snake. Right, so you do have a death card. Okay, cool. And now I am going to reshuffle all of my cards. The unhelping hand. <laughs> exact approach. Uh, I should call her. <laughs> Sometimes all I think about is you. <laughs> da, 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 da. As I'm cutting off my fingers. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. You pick this. Uh, can I make you shuffle your cards? Forces. Yeah, redraw, redraw your hand. So there's two in play. There needs to be at least two in play. Fuck! Wow. I done fucked this up, didn't I? <laughs> Snake. Snake! Dun 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 dun. That was probably the first biggest game. I think I played... Oh, no, no way it wasn't. No, I'm fucking... I'm a liar. Sui Coden was probably one of the first biggest games I ever played. Come on, let's get us over with. Wha bam Yeah. Uh, three! I have three in my hand. I hope, you're, I hope you like that, Stephen. Another Joker. Ah, but I can now go. Bam! And get the wild card achievement. Let me just double check my achievements. What am I missing? What am I missing? Is that all of them? We got all the achievements. 100% achievement run. Yes. I will try and show you the screen, actually. Uh, I, I don't not want to finish this game. <laughs> I want to finish this this round. <laughs> is, that, is that dumb? Damn it. I need to see the cards. Show me the cards. Show me the cards. Show me, show me the cash. Show me the cash. Show me the cash. One. I have one. Damn it. Just. <laughs> Steven. Steven. God. You pick a card? Safe. 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 Oh, Joker. Okay. Ah, you got three. Fuck you, mate. How many have I got? None. I have none. <laughs> the gods smile on one of their own. The horror gods smile on one of their own. You stop. Your breath is atrocious. It smells like shit and disappointment. Oh, that one then. You've got, you've just, they both death cards. Just pick one. <laughs> you don't need to deliberate. I still remember being stuck forever trying to find Meryl's codec frequency. All the game kept telling me it was on the back, on the box. So I was running around trying to find the box forever, <laughs> forever before realizing it was the actual game box. Hideo Kojima is fucking mental. Do you know Hideo Kojima made a, uh, wait. Am I right in this? Yeah. Hideo Kojima made a solar-powered Game Boy game. You you were playing as a vampire hunter, and you had to take that. You had to play the game outside in your Game Boy in broad daylight to charge up your weapons, your god weapons, or whatever it was. F bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Right, that's us.
So, me oh god, buy bitrate, Jesus. Right, that's it. That's that's that that game. If I'm going to click away from this, it's going to freak out. So I'm going to try and go turn that off. And now if I go here, can I show you this? Yeah, I can show you this. Fantastic. Yeah, GG, hundred percent. Ching.